Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with your complete forecast update on the WeatherNet 3 system to News Channel 3's radar and looking at webcams across the Mid-South. This is Weather Overtime, our online video weather blog. Questions, concerns, ideas about what we can feature on here, send them to me at, at austin.onic at wreg.com. Currently looking at some showers and thunderstorms over parts of the Mid-South as we record this just about 8 o'clock Saturday morning and more activity like this could be a bit of a problem into the rest of the day so expecting again the possibility of more of these storms beginning to flare up later on some of them could be on the strong to severe side we'll be watching that carefully throughout the rest of the day so please keep it tuned to news channel 3 for more on the latest forecast information there rest of the next several hours we'll see again these showers and thunderstorms coming and going We'll get more on the forecast on that coming up here in just a little bit. High temperature yesterday in the Mid-South, 91 degrees for the Memphis metro area, but it could always be worse. National high temperature, according to the Weather Prediction Center from the National Weather Service, 127 degrees in Death Valley, California. So just a little bit on the hotter side out there. Cough temp decks, a very warm and steamy weekend coming up across the area. So you may want to think about altering your hot weather coffee plans for a little bit more ice coffee but once again your temperature decision is up to you if you drink scalding hot coffee or get a brain freeze that's your fault not ours Graceland getting some rainfall this morning at the home of the king of rock and roll looking at a fairly soggy weekend off and on but good opportunity to head out to Graceland and get some of the rock and roll vibes from the king out there some last minute paints going on the track and field cam at the Ole Miss campus and showing a few strollers joggers and runners out there for this morning taking advantage of the relatively rain free but still fairly muggy conditions on the Ole Miss campus and rain and plenty of it coming down at St. Jude Hospital and Research Center in Memphis this morning some soggy views of the K Research Center camera from downtown Memphis and also again mostly cloudy skies in and around Olive Branch, Mississippi from former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichert's webcam on the Weather Underground Network. Almanac showing a high temperature yesterday of 91, a low of 72, very close to where we should be for this time of the year. 61, a record low, last set back in 1965, that would be nice. 104, the record high for today set in 1986. Into the last several hours we have not seen anything in the way of earthquakes directly in the Mid-South, one just north of the area up around New Madrid, Missouri. Beyond that, little if anything really taking place directly in the area. Rainfall yesterday managed to pick up over half an inch. For the month, we are doing pretty good. Normal should be at about 4.32. In the last few days, we have picked up nearly eight inches of rainfall total for the month, so we are three and two-thirds almost inches above normal for the month of July, which puts us at nearly a foot above normal where it comes to rainfall for the year. So we're doing very good on rainfall, which means that as of right now, there is little if anything in the way of wildfire danger according to the local forestry division websites low fire danger exists across the three states of the mid-south and there are no burn bans in effect for arkansas and mississippi tennessee does not issue burn bans except on an extraordinary drought major burn possibility situation you do need a burn permit and if you need that you need to talk to the division of forestry through the tennessee department of environment and conservation you can get there through wrhg.com slash weather running out of daylight 607 the sunrise today and tomorrow 13 hours 56 minutes just over that for today and just under about 13 hours 54 minutes of daylight as we head into tomorrow for Sunday. Rest of the day today, chances of showers and thunderstorms popping up from time to time. Temperatures by mid to late morning in the lower to mid 80s. Getting into this afternoon, more widespread chances of showers and thunderstorms not out of the question and more possibilities of showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening. Less of a chance toward News Channel 3 at 10, and after about midnight, we should be looking at less of a chance, still possible, but less likely across much of the area, and stray showers and thunderstorms still going to be possible as we get into around early Sunday morning around News Channel 3 daybreak. Rest of the day today, very close to normal. Isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms in the Mid-South, and numbers for highs right spot on normal, back to about lower 90s. 
90s. Likewise, again, for Sunday, chances of showers and thunderstorms and highs very close to normal back in the lower 90s. First day of August, Monday, temperatures back for teachers and administrators starting school, getting that first classroom ready to go, lower to mid 90s for highs on Monday, and then heading into the lower to mid 90s as we get into the rest of the forecast. So the heat's not going any place. It's not going to be blazing hot, but it's definitely not going to be cool either. Lows at night back in the mid to upper 70s and highs during the day just above normal back in the lower 90s. 10 day forecast shows again the numbers back in the lower 90s for high temperatures and isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms out there. Less of a chance by next Monday, looking at just partly cloudy skies to mostly sunny and temperatures for highs again, spot on normal for next Monday back in the lower 90s. So not a lot of change anytime soon for much of the Mid-South area. Check in with my complete forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. That'll be throughout the rest of the weekend as we keep updated on weather via online, on air, radio, and TV out across the Mid-South area. And once again, possibility of these showers and thunderstorms becoming a little bit more on the strong to severe side. We'll be watching this with a lot of interest as we go throughout the rest of the day, but definitely a good idea to stay tuned to News Channel 3 so we can keep you informed on what's going on in the Mid-South area. So far, again, we've had no severe weather as of this recording, but it is still going to be possible into parts of the Mid-South as we get into the rest of the day. So please keep it tuned for updates as some of these storms could be strong to borderline severe. That'll be a wrap for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for today's edition, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the day for our on-air reports. We'll be on again at 6 following golf, News Channel 3 at 10 tonight, and also on News Channel 3 Daybreak coming up bright and early on Sunday morning. Thanks for joining me on this early Saturday morning for Weather Overtime.